The purpose of this video is to give you a brief overview of some of the critical settings that will enable you to build the powerful energy management analytic reports in Power IQ. Power data starts at the rack PDU. So in this particular case, I'm starting on my Dominion PX GUI, and you need to make sure that the rack PDU has from its device settings under SNMP settings has SNMP enabled, enable SNMP v1 v2 protocol, and record the write community string, W-R-I-T-E, because you're going to have to enter this write community string, in this case it's private, onto PowerIQ so PowerIQ can pull the energy data via SNMP. You could also add information for system location and system contact, which would be also pulled into Power IQ. So in this particular case, my write community string is private, and my two checkboxes are checked. So now I go to Power IQ, so I switch tabs. I go to the PDU tab. I select the PDU that I want to collect the data from, highlight it, and I say edit. And this is where I enter the SNMP community string. The reason you want to enter the write community string, W-R-I-T-E, is so that a PowerIQ can both write to this PDU so that you can name outlets and also collect power data through the SNMP polling. In addition, the IPMI username, IPMI password, is actually the PX username and password. So for a D Raritan Dominion PX, I need to enter the SNMP community string, private in this case, the username of the PX, and a password for the PX. If I was entering a third-party PDU, such as an APC metered PDU or uh, ServerTech Smart PDU, because PowerIQ is multi-vendor, all I would need to enter is the SNMP community string. Once I have my PDU set up, I would go to the PDU screen and I should notice that the status is OK, which means it's polling correctly, collecting data. I should notice that I'm polling the manufacturer, the model, the firmware, the name and the location. If the status is not OK, such as degraded, then I might have, I mouse over and I get a just-in-time help. So in this particular case, it's giving me some error messages. Uh, and you would have to then react to those, those error messages. Um, it might be that you don't have SNMP set up correctly, or this might be due to the communication path between PowerIQ and the PX uh, is blocking SNMP communications. But if this screen looks, as I'm showing you here, with a status polling of OK, then I'm probably collecting the power data that, that I can use in my analytics charts. The next step that I would probably take a look at is I would click the IP address of an individual PDU so that I go to the next level of detail and notice am I graphing data? And sometimes people will go here and say their settings and they'd pull up a graph and maybe it's past month and they, they've just installed the system and they have past month. They might not show any data in the graph because there's not enough data in the graph. So if you start to play with the settings. Make sure that you're going to past hour, so you're going to graph more current data. Make sure the measurement is active power. Select OK. You should be able to generate a chart of the total power used via this PDU. If I'm not showing data here, the next thing I would check is on the settings, and I would go to my polling options. Again, I'm under the assumption that you've just installed your Power IQ and you want to quickly start to get data into the system. You want to check your polling interval. Since if my polling interval was one hour, I wouldn't get my first data point prob or my second data point for probably an hour after I've installed it. So I immediately set the polling interval to something shorter, such as a minute, so I can start to accumulate data and make sure that my analytics is working correctly. Now if I go back to my PDU, page and I click the IP address. Next level of detail is am I getting my entire 
active power data? Am I recording outlet names from my PDUs? Am I getting individual current or active power readings? If I'm not getting individual outlet readings, again, I go back to my network configuration, my SNMP settings, and make sure that that's all working. But now if I've looked at this and I'm getting these types of readings, now I'm pretty confident that my analytics should work provided I configure it correctly. And configuring correctly would mean that you should always have at least one data center. So in this particular case, Jersey City. And then you add your rack to the data center, or you could add flow floor, room, but um, in this case I've added rack. So now I have a data center, I have a rack, and I need to associate my PDUs with at least one rack. And that's the basic so that then I can graph my analytics by data center, by rack. If I added IT devices, and associated outlets from PDU and outlets to my IT devices, then I can graph at an IT device level. Associating outlets and PDUs to an IT device is as simple as clicking the IT device, clicking the add a new PDU association, double clicking, clear the select PDU and enter and it'll give if I clear the select PDU it'll give me the choices of PDUs to select from and then I click this button I get my choice of outlets to associate and if I click the, this and added it it would make that association and that's the basics to getting your system set up so that you can create powerful analytics reports as I showed you in my analytics video previously Thank you.